Thank you so much for taking a moment out of your Sunday, several moments to share some time with Let's Talk Business. This particular 30 minutes or less or more is committed to helping you as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, build your business and some things that I thought that I that would have benefited me or discussions that would have benefited me, me since 1995 when I started my firm. So everything about the Sundays is to um, share with you something that I think is empowering. Now, this actually came from an Afroeconomics member, and uh, he was saying after one of the uh, members only meetings, and I encourage all of you to join, he was saying like, you know what, that would be good to, to discuss some financial terms. And on an individual investment perspective, he was thinking about, and I was like, that's brilliant, really. I'm going to take that over to our business discussions as well, because a lot of times as financial professionals, the things that we talk about there or the words that we use, we take it for granted that everybody's like, ah, I know what that is. And, and that's, that's a really bad habit. So, you know, definitely, I think that um, this, this, particular discussion could be something that you go back to over and over. I encourage you to do that to, um, to, if there's something like, I think she said something about that or that particular word. I heard that before. JV said that. Make sure you go back and check this out. So the, the first business financial term is boss. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Look, I think we all know what boss is, right? But I wanted to think about price point. Price point. Now, I think of price point as like the sweet spot, and that's the price where you can actually, with a profit, sell the product or service that you have or that you provide. No, price point. Now, what we can really just think about when you hear that term price point, just say, what is, what, at what point is that price appropriate? <laughs> because if you know, if you go below that particular price, then you are losing money. So you have to actually look at all of your expenses, all of your um, whatever, whatever's cost to even bring, shipping, handling, printing, whatever it is incurred, even personnel, whatever expenses that you have, you have to make sure that you are providing your service or product at a, a price that is appropriate so that you can be profitable because we want to what? We want to make a profit. We want, even though we hear that word sales a lot, that, you know, in sales is just items or services that you're providing, but you can actually have growing sales and have re re declining profits because of an improper price point. So that is what you really want to understand before you even establish a price, what is the best price? What is the appropriate price? What price point should I have for that particular service or product? And then what about, I said profit, profit is on my list. Profit is the amount of money left over after expenses are taken out, right? So you'll see so many times where people will say, oh, they made $10 million last year. But we really need to focus on what was their profit last year? How profitable was your company? How profitable was that, com that company? Because a company can actually have less sales and be more profitable and be a stronger business because all they have to do, and one of the terms that I, I have is about you know how, how to increase, it's something scalable, and that is how to actually take it to the next level. So that'll come up as I'm going through my list. But so if you have a good business that's run consistently and profitably, then you can actually easily grow it and make it scalable and expand it because you have the proper price or price point. So outsourcing. Outsourcing is a, a term that we hear a lot, uh, and it's contracting out, basically um, not hiring these people, but if it's more cost effective for someone else to do that, um, if you uh, um, make cars, but you don't make paint for cars, that because you think that you want to focus on making the car, then you'll actually outsource 
the painting of the vehicle if you don't want to paint it. You might be a, um, so that's called outsourcing. Like uh, you might, whatever it is that you do, that you might have some uh, a partnership with another company that can do it and it, they have a better price point for doing it because you might add in that service and you can't do it and make your profit that you want so that you can still make a profit you bring in and you outsource that particular service or product. So what about an asset? Asset is another good term. And we, we know that an asset is anything that you own that can increase in value. So, you know, I mean, even the things that depreciate value. So I can just say, really, an asset is anything that you own. And I just hope that it's a good asset. But an asset, anything of value that is owned, that's textbook. What about liability? The amount that is owed by a business. So that is, that, that's your liability. So if you see assets listed, that's what you own. And then your liabilities would be what you owe on that asset. If you own it outright, then there's no liability, liability attached to that asset. And then entrepreneur I have on the list. I use it a lot. An entrepreneur, a person who organizes, manages, and takes on the risk of a business. That would be you and me. What about, um, let's think about, so we're, we're talking about key terms that you use in business. So for those of you who just joined us, thank you so much. I see more and more of you coming into the webinar as I discuss this. So um, make sure that if you're not on the webinar and you're watching this, get in because everybody in the webinar, I want you to take advantage of the question and answer as I'm going along. So contracts, contracts. That's a binding agreement between two or more persons that is enforceable by law. Enforceable by law. That's the key thing. Where I also have there down here as a term agreement. So an agreement is a decision reached by two or more persons or groups. So an agreement does not say anything about being enforceable by law. So in business, <laughs> you need to be very careful to make sure that you take your agreements up to that level of contract. Do your business. Have the contract that is enforceable by law. Have it in writing, right? Know the difference between an agreement and a contract in every capacity. So investments, an investment is putting money into something in order to make a profit. So I'm always encouraging us to move away from spending and move towards investing. Putting money into something in order to make a profit. So an investment is when you buy something that you hope will increase in value or will help you generate more value over the asset that you have. So if you're buying a vehicle for your business, that is an investment because it helps you increase and create a profit for your business. So, but if you just are buying something for luxury and it's not helping you with your business, then that's just spending. So credit, credit is an arrangement for deferred payment for goods or services. So credit is deferred, like that defer means you're putting it off that you're putting it away. So credit is when you're going to find credit, you're trying to find what you can do to put off this particular, you want access to the cash, but you want to put off the payment. And that's when you go and seek credit. So shareholders are, if you have a corporation, then you have shareholders of the corporation, even if the shareholder is only you. Corporations have shareholders. Partnerships have partners, right? So it has to be a corporation to have shareholders. And the and interest, interest is on this. Interest is the price paid for the use of that borrowed money that you got on credit, right? So y'all got any questions, you better ask me now. So then if you do get credit, you'll hear the word terms. So terms, 
you'll ask like, what are the terms for this particular contract? This contract that's attached to this credit, you know, and the credit might be attached to an asset. What are the terms? So terms are the amount of money needed to purchase something, any of, or a variety of conditions attached to a financial transaction. So we have to make sure that before we sign the dotted line, we have to know what are the terms, right? What are the terms involved in this, even the agreement, but the agreement wouldn't be legally, legally binding. If the agreement became a contract, then that's a legally binding. You want to know the terms of it. And then a loan, the, and I already used the word when I was talking about your loan will have terms. And a loan is an amount of money given to a borrower for a set period of time. So after the set time has passed, the money must be paid, plus um, any lending fees, any interest um, payments are normally made over a series of months or years. That's your loan. And a lien is the right to take another's property if an obligation is not discharged. So the um, you have to be conscious of, well, you'll see, unfortunately, sometimes people have a lien against their business um, from the IRS or something. You know, that means that they can actually take that property. They can take that building at the business or, or that vehicle, whatever. They're putting a lien on it to get their money to get to, to take care of the debt that the business may have. And a corporation has a board of directors. That's a group of people elected by the stockholders. So if you're the only stockholder, if you have a board of directors, you would be the one that would pick the board of directors for the corporation to set up the policies of the corporation, right? So be conscious of that. I thought this was interesting. I know I have it somewhere on my list. I wanted to make sure, like we talk about, um, we hear so many people talking about nonprofits. Here it is. Nonprofits, in, by definition, is an organization whose goals do not include making a personal profit for its owners or organizations. So, you know, that the, the nonprofit gets all those tax privileges because their goal is not to keep, get a personal profit for the owners or the organ, organizers, you know? So they're not supposed to be seeking a profit. So then let, let, let's go back. So I was talking about board of directors for the corporation in the, um, so capital is wealth in the form of money or property owned by a person or business and they have economic value. So you will have like, um, well, how much capital does that company have? Or a lot of times we use it with large companies. We'll say that's a large cap um, stock. Those are larger companies and meet a certain criteria of in their stock value that's publicly traded actually. But in capital can include more it, everything, even for a small business. It will be like, how much capital does the business have? So they'll look at how much money how many assets totally that your business has basically. And it might even include um, any human resource values that you have. If you have um, key persons that are bringing in a lot of value to the business, that could be included as capital. You could have human capital. <laughs> so what about a budget? A budget is a summary of intended expenditures by definition. So, you know, a budget is how much you're spending. And we have to make sure that we stay within budget, right? And then I, I like, I, I wanted to make sure that I point out this term because we hear this a lot called launch. And look, launch is when you first actually bring your business out as a business. Like a lot of times people spend years actually setting up the business, but when the business is actually launched, that's when you actually have a business. So it says, to officially start something, that's a launch. Now let's look at the um, supply chain. Now supply chain is the connected chain of all business entities, both internal and external to the company that perform or support the logistics function. So this might be a company 
that actually has like inventory or products that they have to bring in now because as a financial service firm my supply chain will be totally different than say a retail store supply chain you know their their supply chain might go all the way to china you know my supply chain may stop at wall street or or insurance products or so it'll stop but there's you know there but they will actually that your supply chain is how far does everything go or like sometimes i say like the food chain too the, your supply chain how do you get what you need to bring forward to your customers be in tune with that a startup is a new business venture that is trying to discover a profitable business model for future success i want to make sure that every time we talk, I talk about profit and how important it is for us as business owners. Because we will consciously say that, okay, I'm gonna start a business, but it doesn't matter if I don't make any money. That's not what businesses were created for. Then you need to start a nonprofit. <laughs> a business is to generate profit and to build the value of the stock of your corporation through building for having profit because basically your profit is the equity the ownership part of the business so you so if you have shareholders who invested in your business you know they want you to increase the value of the business so we need to really realize that we're in business we're in business to generate a profit and we have to spend the time that is needed in order to figure out what price point we need in order to generate the profit that the business and the investors deserve so the um, branding look, and sometimes to create that particular price point we need to <laughs> or branding and so branding is a combination of name words symbols or design that identifies the product and its sources and distinguishes it from competing brands it is obvious you can tell the difference between my afroeconomics investment portfolios i have a, a portfolio that's called afroeconomics sankofa equity portfolio that is distinguishedly <laughs> that is totally different than any portfolio you will find at any other firm correct that is branding making sure that your service you know has a how, how how are you branding your service or how are you branding your product and that's a kind of a, 20 years ago when i started my firm i didn't hear over 20 years ago i'm gonna keep saying 20 years for the next 20 years so that i don't sound old <laughs> <laughs> but the but the but branding is really a new term of you know what we would used to just say marketing or something like that you know and they created branding and there's people there's just there's people that have companies that all their company does is help you brand amazing but things change and branding is a good way to package you know how we create the uniqueness of our company or product or service so let's look at another one they have revenue revenue the entire amount of income before any deductions are made sometimes called sales right but the um the entire amount of income before any induction reduction deductions are made revenue we focus a lot on revenue but I want us to make sure that we're focusing more on profits. You bring it in that revenue, but how much expenses did you have to incur in order to generate that revenue? We want to focus on profit, right? How, how can we create that same or more revenue and still maintain or even reduce the expenses involved in that? So nonprofit organization, and we talked about that, equity the difference between market value of the property and the claims held against it or let's look at it this way equity your assets minus the liabilities of your business assets minus liabilities of yourself you know but assets minus liabilities of the business is equity equity so merger the combining the combination of two or more companies into a single firm a merger 
acquisition. An acquisition is when you take over the control of one of another company, of one company by another company. You know, that's when the company is acquired or it's an acquisition. They'll we'll call it M&A. You hear that now, mergers and acquisition. Uh, partnership, a contract between two or more persons who agree to pool talent and money and share profits and losses. Partnership. The financial statements bring a lot of new terms into our life. You know, the financial statements indeed. How about um, income statement? Financial statements, and some of them that you'll hear a lot underneath financial statements, <laughs> is income statement, the financial statement that operates, um, that gives operating results for a specific period. Basically, the income statement, it will show everything that you're bringing in and from what categories you're bringing it in. So your income statement might say you're, you're getting this amount from um jeans and this amount from shoe sales and this amount from um from i don't know personal services or, <laughs> or you might have a you know a different but a breakdown each department of your retail business and it'll be on your income statement and will show what you are actually bringing in and it will show the um expenses associated with that as well so it gives your operating results for a specific period and then your balance sheet is a financial statement that reports assets, liabilities, and that equity that we talked about on, on a specific date. So the assets, you know, all of these, are, of course, are changing. Like you might get an income statement for June and things changed a lot over that last quarter. So that's why they'll ask for if you were going to a lender or someone or an investor, they might ask for, can I get an updated income statement or updated balance sheet? Because you may have sold some of the assets or bought some new ones. A cash flow statement, financial statement that shows the flow of money in and out of a business. You know, basically a very similar to your income statement. You know, you could use those terms almost interchangeably. I'd have to ask a an accountant, you know, like, <laughs> but the, um, I use a cash flow. I use the term cash flow statement much more in balance sheet. The, those are, I know I use those regularly. So the, um, also multitask to do more than one thing at the same time, but, right? Like me running my business and then trying to keep up with your own financial statements, right? The, um, transaction a business activity that change that changes Assets, liabilities, or owner's equity. A transaction is something that changes. So a, a transaction might be uh, that you purchased an asset. That's a transaction. Uh, you um, took out a loan. That's a transaction. No, that you um, sold some shares of stock to someone. That's a transaction. So in your company, the industry is the particular kind of enterprise that you have, the particular industry that you're in. I'm in the financial services industry. What industry is your business in? What about this one? Now, you know this is a newer word, monetization. <laughs> monetization, the process of converting something that once was free into a product that is sold, right? So if I took this webinar and I said, oh, from now on, on Sundays, it costs $25 to log on. That's monetizing it. Or you can monetize it by all of a sudden, boom, there's a commercial. Or I go, oh, this is brought to you by, you know, so Jiffy's, um, whatever, blah, 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 tire sales, you know, that's monetizing it. Then that is monetization. And it is everywhere. Now, my firm makes this possible. So this is, in a way monetized because J.B. Bryan Financial Group is the sponsor of Afroeconomics with J.B. Bryan. So the, um, what about uh, scalable? Remember, I was saying scalable, the property of a network that allows it to add or increase its size easily. You know, so scalable, making something easily larger. Um, adding on, you know, thousands of people to this webinar is totally scalable, you know, just getting to you, right? Getting to you. Trademark, 
as a formally registered symbol identifying the manufacturer or distributor of a product, trademark. The Afroeconomics, I own the trademark on that. So trademark, in part, something very important that you need to make sure that if you have a trademark, make sure you get it registered. A business plan, your written description of the business ideas and how it will be carried out, including all major business activities. I was never very good at that. <laughs> I was like, it's so not. It's a fight every time I go, okay, I'm gonna do a plan. I try to do a plan just for a year, I get distracted. I'm like, okay, all right, back to work. But it's very important. One time I just had to go and I sat down with other you know, business owners and they were like, what is Tammy Ryan doing in here? But I just, you know, want to have, you have to take that time out. And that's why I have the entrepreneurship member of Afroeconomics because it forces you to have regular meetings with me. It forces you, you know, I am going out of my way to make sure that my firm makes sure that you do what you got to do for yourself. I didn't have anything like that, you know, but I'm, you know, but when you feel like, that's just the crazy part because really that's what we're supposed to do. That's what God wants us to do. If there's something out there that you wish that you had, why not you be the one? Why not me, right? Why not me? Let's do that. They say that let, let's be the change that we want to see in the world. I want to be the enhancement that I want to see. I want to be the mentor that I want to see for black businesses. But thank you so much for sharing your time. These are some terms. I've, there's so many more, but you know that we've done this for 30 minutes and y'all hung out with me for 30 minutes. And I just think that that is amazing. Check out the podcast. I have so many podcasts. I um, just uploaded a new one. It's on iTunes. If you're a listener and you just like to just ride or run or take your walk or drive to work and just listen to a podcast, I'm on iTunes and Google Music Play. Make sure you share this with your friends. Share the empowerment. Share the love. Click like. Check me out on YouTube, Afroeconomics with J.B. Bryant and the Facebook page as well. Have a wonderful day. I look forward to talking with you on Wednesday for the webinar on Wednesday for individuals. Today was Let's Talk Business for today's Black business owners. Have a good one.